Hey, what's up? This is Esther representing Selection, and I'm going to be making a beat with whatever's in this crate. Potential, I'm saying I'll build her, sort of like a pyramid. Let's see what we got in here. All right. Oh, some coffee. This is making me mad because I haven't been drinking coffee and I really want some. <laughs> some Uber tools right here. Um, keys. Oh, that's always good. Yeah, there's a lot with this too. Um, <laughs> a little bag. Oh yeah, door knocker. I was hoping for like one metal sound. This should be cool. I'm gonna start off with some coffee. Since I can't start my day with coffee. <laughs> this one's pretty cool. Door knocker. I feel like everyone should do this when they're at home by themselves. Just record random stuff around the house. I have like a little field recorder. Whenever I travel, I try to bring it and just record where I've been instead of like taking pictures or something. Just trying to make like a percussion type loop. I started wanting to be a DJ, but it was too expensive, so I got a bootleg version of Fruity Loops. And then I just got addicted. The first beat I made took like eight hours or something. I just went straight. It was like the most trash beat, but I just, I loved it. I just been hooked. Record some of this. It's like my best friend right now. <laughs> yeah, I have no like traditional education on music or theory or anything. I just trust my ear and see what happens. Let's record one. Let's try and make a scent out of this. When I started with Selection, I played this little gig in Temecula, less than 20 people there. Andre Power, one of the co-founders, he was in another room selling vintage clothing. We just sent music back and forth and they got me some of my first gigs, one of them being Coachella, which was crazy. <laughs> I didn't even know how to DJ like a month before that, but it worked out and I'm here now and I'm entirely grateful. Half the time when they link up, we don't even talk music or shows or anything. It's just kicking it. We're that close, so it's pretty cool. You should know your plugins and effects. Echo Boy, just for like, of course, echoes and different textures. And I'm a big fan of like panning, so I'll use Pan Man a lot. Let's see what else we have in here. Sounds like a scratch. <laughs> I feel like I'm learning so many new techniques. Pretty much making something out of nothing. When I DJ, it's more of like studying people, what gets people going. I definitely like educating the crowd because what's the point of going to another club that plays the same thing? I'd rather them leave with something, wanting to know what song it was or the sample or where it came from. Because a lot of music that I dig for, they have like a monthly of 400 plays on Spotify. I think that's pretty sad, so I just try and integrate it with my music or play the original in my sets. I have my own sounds now. I'm not very good at speaking, so I feel like this is my way of communicating. Like public speaking, I can't do, but DJing in front of thousands of people, it makes it much easier because I'm speaking through music, I guess. That's just how I communicate. You can ask my girl. <laughs> Alright, one more sound and I think I'll be good. Let's see if I can make a lead synth. It works. This lead sound, I, I, I use this, this coffee can and stretched it like crazy and added a tone to it. 
I love the idea of making something out of nothing. And I feel like this is a practice every producer can do on the daily to try and get better. You can give these sounds to a million producers and they're all gonna sound different. I think that's beautiful. Cool, I like it. <laughs> better than I thought. <laughs> What up, squad? I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, you can hit the subscribe button. You can also follow us on Twitter and Instagram by clicking the links below. Until next time, thanks for watching all deaf music.